Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to extract rows and columns from an array of data using the row operator and the column operator. And then we'll go through a few examples to help you understand how to use them in your calculations. First, let me show you where you can find them on the ribbon and how to insert them in your worksheet. If we go to the matrices and tables tab, under vector and matrix operators, we will see here the matrix uh, column operator and the matrix row operator. You can insert them in your worksheet by clicking on the operator in this drop down menu, or you can use the keyboard shortcuts Ctrl Shift C for columns and Ctrl Shift R for rows. Now that we know where to find them, let's go ahead and see how we can use them. For that, we will need an array of data that I will generate using range variables. So let's go ahead and define the first range variable going from 0 to 9 and I will need a second one again going from 0 to 9. Let me go ahead and define a matrix uh, that will be made out of elements of i plus j squared and if we go here and evaluate we will see that the matrix has been generated. Now, if we want to extract a specific column from this matrix, we can do a variable assignment here, and we're gonna type in the name of the matrix, and then using the keyboard shortcut, Control shift c I'm gonna insert the column operator, and I'm gonna type here um, the number of the column that I want to extract. So, if I go here and evaluate, see, in this particular case, I've extracted the first column of the um, matrix. We can do the same thing for the rows. I can type in the name of the matrix, use keyboard shortcut Ctrl Shift R and I'm going to type in here 0. So if we go here and evaluate R, you can see that we have extracted the first row of this matrix. Now the reason why the first row is 0 is because uh, vector and matrix indices are based on the origin of the worksheet which by default is zero. You can change that to one if you'd like from the um, ribbon in the calculations tab, or you can do it directly in the worksheet by redefining the origin to another value. Another thing we can do when we're extracting data we, is that we can assign units. So if I go here and say that the values that I'm extracting are in centimeters, I can go ahead and define this and um, when I evaluate, those values will be um, assigned with uh, the unit of uh, centimeters and you can um, also um, update the, the unit and you can see that the values scale accordingly. For the second example, uh, I have created here an Excel component uh, and each row of the component represents dimensions that we'll be using to calculate the moment of inertia of an IB. The first thing that I want to do is expand this output section and right click inside to insert an output expression. I'm going to assign the output to a variable. I'm going to call it sections. And I'm also going to specify the range of data that I want to read. So this will be A6 going to uh, H14. So that's the range of data that we want to um, read from the Excel component, and we're going to uh, minimize this. If we evaluate now the sections variable, we will see that the data has been automatically passed to that variable. So what I want to do next is go here and assign to a variable x the first row of uh, my sections array. So I'm going to type in here sections. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control shift r and I'm going to specify the, the row that I want to read out. So if we evaluate now the sections, the s variable, uh, we will see that the first row corresponding to section 1 has been extracted. To save us some time, um, I have already populated uh, the uh, matcat file with some variable definitions where we take out uh, certain values uh, from this row of data that uh, we have assigned to the variable s and we are, we are assigning it to uh, different variables 
and we're also attaching the unit. So down here I have um, a cross section of the beam that helps us understand uh, what those dimensions really represent. So we can now go here and evaluate the uh, moment of inertia and we can also uh, update the unit to be uh, centimeters. And we, we have the result. So the advantage here is that you can uh, update your calculation just by uh, updating the coefficient here, the number in the uh, raw operator to get a different result. For the third example, we are going to do some data fitting using one of MathCAD's built-in function. But first, we need to uh, import some data so we can have something to work with. To do that, we go to the Inputs and Outputs tab and uh, we hit the read, read Excel function. We browse to our Excel file and we hit Insert. Now, we assign this data to uh, a variable uh, and if we evaluate this variable we can see that the data has been imported and has been passed into um, an array of points. Now the function that we're going to use is called uh, expfit and we'll do an exponential fit of our data and this function takes into arguments. So this is where the column operator comes into play because it allows us to split the data into two vectors. So I'm going to define my first vector called the v of x, type in the name of my uh, variable, of my data array, use Ctrl Shift C for the column uh, operator and type in here the value 0 for the first column and I'm going to do the same for uh, vy uh, data uh, column 1. So at this point, uh, the data is uh, split into uh, two vectors. We can go down here and um, we can type in the name of the built-in function. So the name of the function is expfit. And as I said, this uh, takes in two arguments. So the arguments will be the actual vectors that we've extracted uh, previously. And the result of this function will assign it to a variable b. So if we go here and we evaluate uh, the result will be a vector of uh, three values. These will be the coefficients that will go into the fitting function that we're going to type next. So let's go ahead and type the function as a function of x and we're going to define this as the first element of the b vector, so b0, b index 0. I'm going to multiply this by the constant e raised to the power of b index 1 multiplied by x and we're going to take all this and we're going to add the third element which would be b2. So we have the fitting function. The next step would be to go to the plots tab, insert plot xy plot and we're going to use this to visualize the data. So first we can go here and plot the, the two vectors uh, vy and vx so we can visualize uh, the data points that we started from. I'm going to go here to symbol and remove the line so we can see the, the actual points. And what we can do next is add another trace here and type uh, f of uh, vx, which is um, the fitting function that we defined previously. And uh, we can go here and change the color of it and change the thickness so we can better view uh, the results. I will stop here for now. I think you have enough information to get you started with working with these two operators. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.